Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant and Chair. Smoking poor excuse for a lucky strike. The rolled up floor sweepings of doom. And uh, watching a movie. Relaxing today. It's been a Sunday. Uh, an interesting one, to say the least. Everything's been a pain in my ass and a real struggle today. And that's kind of the point of this. <sighs> you know, people used to ask me, how did you get away with everything you did? You know, the... The being hammered all the time, buying smokes, and fucking, you know, carrying a handgun and shit like that. Underage, like way underage. Like I started like at 14, right? And there, there's really a simple way to get away with almost anything in life. And I don't think anybody's really talked about this in great detail. <sighs> See, I've learned some shit. People basically tell on themselves, like when they're nervous about something, right? Or they, they have anxiety, and it lets you know that, you know, something might be up. See, when you're going to do something naughty, uh, it's first to acknowledge what you're doing is naughty. Uh, second, probably enjoy the fact you're doing it, if you're like me. And thirdly, try not to get caught. And if you do get caught, do it with some ta taste and some style, man. You know what I mean by that? Like, before all this we card, we ID, 21 to buy everything nowadays, you know, it was different. You know, there, there was no security cameras, there was no internet, there was no real cell phone. And most people just assumed that us children were having lighthearted fun. You know, boys will be boys, right? And so when you're you're a bigger than average kid and you act older than you actually are, most of the time they let you get away with shit that you wouldn't otherwise. Right? You know, I don't think I actually was carded until I was like twenty three years old at the liquor store. Which is funny because you know, I was going there about every day and I'm seventeen up. And I think I've never been carded for cigarettes until I was an adult. <sighs> Which is crazy, right? Well, how, how did they get away with that? Well, it's pretty simple. If you act like you're supposed to be doing something, and you're not nervous, jumpy, or jittery, and treat it like it's just a regular chore, like most adults do with everything in life, they generally leave you the fuck alone. And don't ask questions, right? Don't raise suspicion. You know, and of course, kids kids have been doing dumb shit like this since the dawn of fucking time. <sighs> like that scene in the movie The Cowboys with John Wayne, right? All them kids are sitting around getting pie-eyed on uh, old John Wayne's special drinking liquor, you know. And they're sitting around and giggling and they're having a great old fucking time. The next morning, they were all hung over shorts, right? Now... It's it's fun to have foolishness and to uh, carry on like a like a liquored up imbecile at times. Um, not every day, but you know sometimes it's all right. But these activities, you know, it, it just just like the same thing with carrying a gun, man. Like everybody's fiddling around with their holster or indicating towards wherever it is on their person. And after you've been carrying for a while, you actually kind of forget you're wearing the damn thing, almost. And it just blends in better. So that's basically uh, my little argument and rant about how to get away with basically anything in nature. I mean, obviously there's some limits to this, you know. And it's different nowadays, I'm sure, in most places than it was when I was growing up. But you know, what can you do, man? Life's different now that I wear an older man's shorts. It's just the way it is. And as always, uh, have a fantastic Sunday, and I'll probably see you around in Shads or Mel's or uh, Terribly Tacticals or wherever the fuck else I end up tonight. So, have a good one.